Hi, my name is Melissa Chen. I am faculty at CMS and a clinical director at the ICC. I've been a great supporter of synapses from day one uh, because I believe that art and humanities have a fundamental place in medicine and medical training. And one thing about medicine, medicine is a field that lends itself to a constant need to keep moving. Maybe it's the next patient that you have to see. Maybe it's the constant reflecting on, did I do everything I could for that patient? Maybe it's the, the constant reading of the latest coronavirus developments. Art, and specifically photography to me, is a way of stopping time for a moment, taking a chance to pause, to remember a moment in time, a chance to take a breath and reflect on the humanity in the moment. And let me share one more reason that I love photography. You've probably discovered that people in medicine, we love certainty. We love thinking that we know everything about a disease and how it affects a patient. But the story is always more complex than what we think we know. Art and photography is a way of acknowledging, hey, let's stop for a moment. Look at this moment again. See what we might be missing. See what else in this picture tells a story. So Synapses has asked me to talk about one of my photos featured in this issue called Keep Going. This was taken in the middle of a bike ride on the Des Plaines River Trail, not too far from RFU. It's a dirt trail that parallels the river for miles, and sometimes in the lower parts, the, the trail gets flooded after it rains. But if I get beyond these parts, I know that the, the rest of the ride of my ride to Independence Grove is clear. Normally, I stop if the water is probably about the level of my pedals, because it's pretty hard then to keep pedaling through the mucky river. But this time, I just had to keep going. So I got off my bike and I walked through the river. The picture brings to mind a quote from one of my favorite authors, Rainier Maria Rilke. Let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. Just keep going. No feeling is final. During these pandemic times, perhaps this resonates. Perhaps you are on the front lines and just need to plow forward. Perhaps you are struggling with the discipline of studying and carrying on with your learning. Perhaps you are grieving the loss of loved ones. But no feeling is final. Just keep going. The trail will clear. My other two photos in this issue also reflect journeys in some aspect. Journey to the Edge is a moment from a hike in Norway that pushed our boundaries. It was exceedingly steep to our eyes, and of course there's no rails. We explored the edge of our fears and put them in perspective. As the three of us were clinging to the side of the mountain, Norwegians were cheerfully stepping around us, greeting hi hi, as if on a simple Sunday stroll. It was an exercise in going beyond our fears and just appreciating the sheer beauty around us. Footprints was taken on a secluded San Francisco beach with my cousin and her pup. It was a moment of freedom, of just being there with the waves, the wind, the sand, and rock. Thank you for listening to my stories, and thank you to Synapses for giving me the opportunity to share. Hope everyone enjoys the journal and is staying safe and well. Cheers.